Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arcanum. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the boil. Well, we're actually not in the boil, we're sort of um, at the end of... Uh, they, had, they had a name for this bridge, but we're still sort of in a safe place. As long as we don't get in there, we should be okay. Um, but we have bandits all over us, all, 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 of, all around us, I should say. And we also have a quest that we have completed. So Caleb Milo wants me to pick his shipment of whiskey. And then he's gonna he's gonna give me give me other things. I imagine uh, you are doing sojourner risks. Thank you. It's fine. Uh, I imagine he's gonna have another quest for us. Mm. It is good to make your acquaintance again. Yes. The, can you make your acquaintance again? Is that how it works? I thought like you make an acquaintance and then that's an acquaintance acquaintance made for life. That's what it means. I have some acquaintances, right? Anyway. Uh, hello, Caleb, uh, or Caleb. Um, have you a moment? Of course. How may I help you? Uh, I've picked up the, the whiskey, Caleb. Here it is. You have? That's grand, lad. Thank you so much for the help. Here's your money. And he hands you a handful of, coal, of gold. You're welcome in the Malloys anytime. Well, thank you very much. Will you allow me a few more questions? Uh, so, I asked all of these questions already. So, it's just no more quests. Well, we do have to talk to all these people. That bandit trust over there... Is that how he goes? Well, I suppose it's just Bandit. Uh, she looks different. More well-dressed. Well, more dressed, I should say. Everybody, except for that guy over there. Uh, but she does She does have black leathers, which are the best leathers. Of course, uh, save the game there, and let's have a chat with her. The woman in front of you is tall, strongly built, with a pair of scars running from the corner of her eye to the bottom... Or, uh, to the bottom? To the bottom of her jaw. It makes her look as if she's crying. What do you want? You got any reason to bother me, or you just enjoy rolling the dice with old Scratch? Oh, that's her name? Okay, uh, no, well, if you're in inferring that my life is in danger, you're sorely mistaken. Oh, really? And she whirls on you a pair of blades appearing her in, uh, appearing her in hands. In her hands, I suppose. Uh, you want to test that theory, stranger? I'll go to you quick here, quicker than a more behind dogfish. Um... Well, I can't leave. I, I do want to, in, 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 to um, you know, engage on the conversation. See where this goes, anyway. There is no lock visible on the outside of this door. I don't know what that is. I think that might be a bug. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoy that, miss. Oh, no, I didn't. I wouldn't. No, 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 I don't want it. It's terrible. Terrible. I thought, I thought this was... I mean, come on. Why'd you give me... I don't trust clicking the quick load key. That's just too close to the... To the quick save, and uh, that would be terrible. Uh, well, it wouldn't be terrible, because I have the episode 46 uh, save right there, as you can see. But, uh, uh, yeah, why did you give me the, the scumbag option if I if you don't give me a nice one? Uh, I'll be leaving now. Yeah, crawl away, dog. You come back here for no reason, again, for no reason, and you'll regret it. Yeah, but I'll have a chat with all, the, all of your friends. Er, says that guy. Hello. Oh, what do you want here, boy? I got a few questions, if you don't mind. He looks at you and smirks. As a matter of fact, I do mind, boy. You got any idea what you ma who you're messing with in here? Being as weak and scrawny as you are, I'm surprised someone ain't already made you into a blood puddle. And he snickers to his friends. Who's what friends? You have friends? I didn't know. Anyway, uh, I see perhaps... No, let's not go with that. Uh, yes, I know I'm weak. Please, just a few moments of your time. Ha! <laughs> You hear that, boys? The poor bloke knows he's weak. He steps up to you. You know what happens to lads like you in the boil? You wouldn't even want me to tell you. Get the hell out of here before someone carries you out. Um. Yes, sir. So sorry, sir. Okay, no so sorry. No so sorry. I am reloading because I am not going to be humiliated by your stupid face. I, I don't want to fa fight them right now. We might fight them later. Just not before I complete the quests, because completing quests is where the fun is at. Uh, so, let's have a chat with the other people. Uh, and these guys, half work Bandit, what do you want? Uh, what can you tell me about the boil? The boil is a place of great opportunity for those uh, in the know, it is. You, sir, are a lucky man to have chosen to speak with me, as opposed to the other lurkers around here. And he casts a, dis a distrustful glare across the bar. Yes, I have, I believe, I believe uh, that is, that is true. What is your meaning, sir? We of the Clan Mog run the boil. You would do well to throw in with us. You interested? Uh, well, I may. You need to talk to Mugs over there, then. He motions uh, to a well-dressed dwarf standing nearby. He's always got a job for those who do hope to prove themselves to Clan Mog. Oh, it's the dwarf. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, I, I, fine. Let's, I mean, us dwarfs need to stick together, apparently, or something. Maybe. Uh, what in the name of Albrecht caused you to think you could talk to me? Speak up, boy. 
Uh, well, one of your boys told me to come talk to you about a job. Ah, oh, well, that's different. Looking to join up with Darian Mog's eh? uh, clan, eh? A uh, good choice. Healthy choice, too, if you get my meaning. I got a, an easy job for you. Collecting. Oh, I'm listening. Uh, there's this bloke, Lars. That fell's a bit behind on the payments he did. Someone that would be you, or oh, someone that would be you, needs to drop in on old Lars and collect the 200 coin he owns me. I shall give you, say, 25 coin for the work. Uh, it's okay. Well, what if he doesn't have it, though? Uh, kill him! Uh, sure. All right. Where's this fellow live? Uh, sh there's his shacks up northwest, Bolotad. On the left. Over there. Sure. I'll return with his money. Or his blood. Okay, sounds pretty simple. Sounds pretty, uh, uh experience in money game. It's, it's always the nice stuff. We do have another quest, or we actually have directions, but we do have another quest, uh, over here. Thaddeus Minor, or Minor, wants you to steal the Golden Island Idol of the Barbarians of Cree. That's not at all what this is. I don't actually remember. Where did I get that? Hmm. Anyway, it's fine. We, just, we, we have the location. Uh, I think it, it was it in Ashbury? Hmm. Uh, hello. Hey, you are the one, one of those technologist fellas I hear all about. Amazing. Never thought I'd see someone like you here. What can I do for you anyway? Uh, training? Ah, uh, what manner of training interests you? Uh, pick locks. You have trained as an apprentice already. Yes, I know. I just, I, sure. Disarm traps, maybe? Can I? I can. Just get that positively. Your apprentice training is complete. Well, thank you very much. Uh, can I train in the other things as well? Like in Haggle, for example. You're not skilled enough. What about repair? Oh, repair I am. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we can repair a few things. In a pinch, that might be required. Can you fix something for me? You just... Oh. Fix that robe over there. Nice. Everything is fixed. I, I took care of that off camera. Um, and uh, I think everything is good. Let's continue. Hi. Uh, so, can you train me as an expert in repair? Mm, you do not have the, ne the skills necessary to be trained as an expert. Uh, but he does barter, which is great, because I can sell him the things that I have over here. Oh, he's a... He's a uh, junk dealer. Is he lowballing me here? I would say maybe. I think he might be. I think he very well might be. Or his prices might just be low. Like, for example, we got sheet metal. That's good, because I can make gloves with that. Let's get those. Uh, let's see what else. We got a shovel, which I suppose probably isn't necessary for anything. I don't remember it being necessary. It's not. This game is not a whole lot about uh, the contextual clock parts. Hmm. Uh, the, the contextual uh, item usages and all that sort of stuff. How not can I help lot. you? So let's trade. Let's give you that. You also have a large one of those. I can sell them. Uh, magic robes, I can sell those as well. The axe, I can sell as well. What about this? This is a hunting rifle. Is it good? No. I think the, the other rifle that Virgil has is better. The Clarington rifle, yeah. Uh, so, let's see what else. Nothing over here, and that's that. So, I can sell the rest of the stuff. Hello. Let's barter. Do you pay a lot for this? I think he's, he's actually not paying as much. Maybe he doesn't like me. Eh, well, he likes me well enough. It's How fine. can I help you? Okay, so what sort of things can you make for me? I need gloves. Now, that's smithy work, isn't it? Pure ore, balanced sword, featherweight. There it is. Dwarven gauntlets. Thank you very much. And, of course, I don't know where you got a forge to do that. Or the smithing hammer, but that's... Oh, no, I need to... How I need can to I help you? Trade with you so I can see what those are. Dwarven gauntlets. Wait a minute. They are like his... They're not necessarily better, though. Uh, so let's see. What is mine? Chain gloves. Yeah. I mean, they're nice. I suppose. I suppose they're nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep them. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna sell them as well. But I don't. I don't know if. Uh, I wonder if that's. It, it, well, let's see. Let's. Where's the guy? Oh, there it is. Uh, I wonder if that it's beneficial to sell them. It isn't. Especially because I have the other gloves as well. Yeah, this guy doesn't... He doesn't like buying and selling in general. Okay, well, at least I made some money out of that. That's fine. Probably wasted a lot of it as well. Oh, sorry. I closed the door before me. Okay, nothing over here. Nope, don't... Seriously? Open it. Thank you. Okay, so this is where the guy that owes money to Mog 
should be, or somewhere around here. Let's look at the map, uh, and we have a little bit of a house. I didn't hover over any of this, over any of the... Oh, they're, they're not marked? Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's get in here. This is unlocked. I mean, the windows would let me in anyway. There's nothing in here. Huh. Oh, is that it? An orc berserker and a gnome guard. Let's not mess with him for right now. We do not need that. We also have a brute fag. Fang? Fag? Fang. Oh, we have a brute fang in there. I suppose maybe that's his name. Although how we know the name of a dog when we don't know the name of their owners is beyond me, but maybe that's just an engine limitation for for that for those characters. Uh, like maybe the, maybe humans allow for for two names, and and beasts don't. I say humans, but it and isn't you know, none of these guys are human, but you know what I mean. So hello, gnome guard. This heavily perfumed gnome would uh, appear laughable if not for the scars on his face or the oversized dagger hanging from his belt. I think that makes him more laughable. Uh, and just what precisely do you think you would be doing here? He asks. Uh, I was going to go inside. Uh huh. I don't believe that is going to happen. Only cl the clan mog is allowed within these walls, and then only select members at that. Turn your little self around and go back to where you came from. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna be clan mog eventually. Well, I, I imagine honorary member. Maybe I don't don't really know. Uh, northwest to the left. Maybe this is north and this is west. Yeah, probably is. Hello, Mr. Work Orc Guard. Ah, uh, what do you want? Uh, nothing. Sorry to have bothered you. Good day. Can't go in from here. Interesting. Maybe that's where I need to go. Well, I need to go everywhere. Hello. A uh, fine day, says... Yeah, half-orc guards. Wait a minute. Was that an orc guard? No, that was a half-orc guard. Okay, and we have Ginkka roots over here. And that is great. And we have a passage to the other side of the river, I think. Which bane? No, we can't pass to the other side of the river. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool that you can see on the other side and like, I want to go there! But you can't. You, I mean, you could. I think I have been there uh, in a previous playthrough. It's that, it, it, generally speaking, traveling the world map is boring. Don't do it. It's just boring. Eh, well, I, do it if you're curious, but be aware that it's only for sating your curiosity that you're going to be doing it. So let's hope that this card is incompetent as, uh, as the bricks on the wall. Let's just see what I can do here. And leave that alone, he says. I shall not leave this alone. There we go. It's unlocked. Shall see what is inside. Case of Ale. Hmm, interesting. But I shall not be messing around with you because I think this guy might be uh, Mogs or something. Uh, so let's just not do anything to him. And uh, if I need to kill him, I will. I imagine my companions are not going to be upset. They might be because, yeah, it's just they're sort of... Come on. Thank you for the loading. Okay, so this might be it. We have a bed inside. I need the door, though. To the left. Northwest to the left. Yeah, those directions are a little bit weird. A little bit all over the place. Hi! Maybe, maybe, maybe you're in the right spot. I saw the icon, and uh, I was like, maybe this is the guard inside. Uh, well, let's have a chat with the guy. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm here for mugs. It says, uh, to pay up, or you're dead, apparently. Oh, gods, please, have pity on me. I'm sick and I'm poor. I have 25 gold to my name, and we're starving. We're starving? What, you, what is going on? Hmm. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll pay you your debt for you. He falls to the ground and starts kissing your hand. Thank you, thank you. Please don't. I don't want germs. Also, let me see what you have over here. Nothing. He has nothing to his name. Well, nothing over there. I could always open. Uh, I could also always um, pickpocket him. Let's see if that works. But then again, that's gonna screw up everything. It's gonna kind of undo the whole point of paying for his debt. Oh boy. Well, but there you go. We we found we found where he is. We found a way to advance the quest. I imagine because we probably couldn't advance the quest before. Because it's always a little bit weird. Not that it is unrealistic, but it's always a bit weird. Like, uh, go and get me this money from this guy. And I'm like, okay, here's the money. You can do that in, in Morrowind. There's a few quests where that happens. Uh, but it speaks more to how lame these quests tend to be uh, than to, uh, to any sort of uh, gameplay shortcoming. That it's weird for you to just pay the money. Like... There's this guy that owes money, and I just pay up. Okay, there's this money that owes money, and I pay up again. And without actually leaving the room. Anyway, he paid up after a bit of persuasion.
Oh, I feared you'd be too soft to be a righteous collector, but I had you figured wrong, it seems. Here's your 25 coins. You should go speak with Darian Mogg himself. You'll want a word or two with our newest member. He's up north, Boyle, in the Bentley. You can miss it. Okay. I am the parting, I announce. Apparently that's, uh, that's, that's how, that's what I said. That's what I said. Can I go outside? I just want to go and get those things over there. Because I need those for fatigue restorers, I believe. Tobacco leaves. And uh, what is the other ingredient? These are green, I believe. Are they green? No, it's the green ones that I need. Okay, I don't remember what they are called, but it doesn't matter. So we completed that quest, and now we need to go talk to the man himself. Oh, and this is Mog's territory then. Wait a minute, if this is Mog's territory, then why the other guys were so, such jerks? Why were they such jerks to me when I talked to them? You know, the guys in the bar? Also, did I visit everything? Uh, I did, I did, I did not. I can go there later. It's not a problem. Hello. Uh, okay. So Muggs told me to come see Darren. I just did a job for him. Ah, oh, well, sir, I am Milo. Mr. Mog's man Friday, as it, no, Mr. Mog's man Friday, as it were. What? Sure. Me. Man Friday? What's a man Friday? I, I don't know. Anyway, for no one enters here without my say-so. I, is that supposed to be a, a joke? Is that supposed to be a joke over there as well? What is going on? What kind of, what? Uh, but Muggs told me to, he places his hand on his dagger in what is meant to be a threatening gesture. Uh, though it seems difficult to take him seriously. I have not care, I have not a care for what that brute Muggs told you. I decide who enters or, as I have already told you, do not cross me. I become rather unpleasant when angry. Uh, okay, what's the price of going, uh, what's the price going to be to get me inside? Oh, don't tempt me, if only I had more time for frivolity. Well, we are always in need of a good strong arm, at least I know I certainly am, and he smiles to himself. Are you, are you, are you interested in a bit of, uh, the old rough work? Uh, sure, what type of rough work? You know, the usual rival gang killing and all that. A swarthy gentleman who it just so happens because belongs to that dreadful Pollock gang has taken a, a liking to my girl. I would like him removed from his, this world. Your 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 girl. Oh, oh boy. I, I see I see what the writing is trying to imply. Yeah. So um what's the pay for uh, for work of that nature? Well, let's say 500 gold, shall we? All right. I just uh it's a bit light for rough work. It's not. It is. Is it? I suppose. Let's go with that. Oh, that's what it is worth, and it is only the and it is the only way you will get inside the Bentley. What will it be? All right, I'll do it. Just like, where can I find this bloke? Being of the Pollock gang, he lives down in the awful South Boyle. He goes by the name of Treat, ugly orcish fellow. He claims only partial orc heritage, but to look at him, you'd swear he was orc through and through. Yeah, consider him deceased. Okay, splendid. Okay, awesome. So, the south boil. So, there's. N this is the north boil. And that's the south boil. What is this? Oh, this is the exit to town. Okay, good. Good. Must remember. North is to the to the way I don't think it is. <laughs> I always think north is that way. Over there. It's just, I don't know why. I just don't know why. I, I, anyway. Uh, let's see. We have. Nothing. So, maybe we did come over here and I just. It just didn't. Just didn't register in my head. Anyway, we're going to the nasty part of town. And in fact, this is the part of town that I usually visit the first time around. I just came this way because, well, I don't know, l luck, I suppose. Because we went and talked to very nice people in the uh, in the bar. So, yeah. What these things are, I don't know. Why are there these houses here? They're just fully empty. They don't even have interior walls. And it's just there. Okay. Well, let's hope that we don't get attacked, because we tend to, or tend to be, especially early on. I think I think they check the, the to see your uh, your um, your level or something. This guy's a level twenty-three. Air, can I talk to you? Yes. What is it? Okay, so they're nice people. See, it's not, there's nothing to be afraid of, and I'm a goody two-shoes as well. Oh no, you're part of that clown mark, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I must flee. <laughs> Say those guys. Uh, yeah. Well, you must die. Here, he's attacking me, so... Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, he's very dodgy. And he's very dead as well, which is a lovely thing. Uh, let's see, a dagger, I'll take that. A guard leather, I'll take that. I think I know 
who the junk dealer is that I'm gonna sell these to. Okay, these guards are... No, these are bandits. Wait a minute. What? Why did they flee? Ouch. Yeah, they're all fighting. So, yeah. Nasty part of town. I don't have armor for this. Because I sold it. Like an idiot. Well... It's it's tricky. Actually, off camera, when I when I've been looking for armor, uh, a thing that often happens is me finding a nice suit of armor and then realizing it's it's uh, it's not the right size because nobody sells gnome sized armor. It's just so small and nobody sells it. Nobody cares for us. Okay, here comes somebody. Okay, that's a nice critical for two four. Followed by some pretty decent ones. Okay, maybe these guys are not attacking, or maybe they are. No, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna let my my friends do all the work. That's not gonna work, Virgil. That is not. Oh, game, stop loading. Why are you loading? Don't load. That probably means there's characters coming. I don't know how that worked. Get all that. Ooh, yeah, sure. Get all that. Strip them naked. Guys, sure. get out of there. I'll do Seriously. it right away. That annoys me so much that my character doesn't go around them. <laughs> okay, I think I got a dagger. Okay, so we can sell those things even if it's for, for two coin. Then now I'm over encumbered. So let's see if these guys are upset with me. Hi. Well, they seem to be. Retreat, retreat, said that guy. Armor damaged. She damaged her own armor. And I'm going to die. Because I talked to them. And for... Maybe I'm not gonna die. Weapon dropped. Did you notice? I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh no, I'm just... What? Yeah, time is passing because I'm too tired. And nobody will heal me. No, that's bad. This is bad. I don't want to wait for that. I'm not gonna. I don't want to actually. I don't want to fight these guys right now. I would fight them. Uh, it's just that uh, it's. I don't really want. I mean, they're the the guards of this place, and they don't attack me immediately. So it's sort of. No, they do attack me immediately. Okay, so it's sort of bad. Let's take a shot. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, so those guys are gonna handle. That, and I'm gonna... Oh, game. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I can't hit that guy. So put that back and get out of there. Okay. That was a stupid mistake. That was a really stupid mistake. It wasn't really a mistake. It was more... Unluck or lack of luck. That guy was dodgy. And uh, oh, I have something here. Hi, Jaina. Hello. Look at this. Heal me now, please. That's what she's doing. There it is. Going up. Slowly but surely. And she's done. Okay, yeah, let's just go sell the crap that I have. These guys. Well, this guy makes a lot of money. Oh, well, I say he makes a lot of money. With all the, you know, killing going going around. Uh, if you enter the boil... Yeah, that's fine. Um, but I, I... He's paying me money. I don't know what he's going to do with all these things, but... Uh, let's barter, sir. And uh, I have... Small leather armor. No, this is just large leather armor. I need a proper... Yeah, that's the reason why I confuse things. It's because it's right next to... Uh... Oh, he doesn't have money. I'm selling him things for free. Uh, well, can I buy anything from you? Uh, hmm. I hope I didn't sell him stuff for nothing before. I don't think so. Actually, I could check. Let's let's load that again. Uh, no, let's not load that again. He doesn't have money. That's what it is. Doesn't matter. Yeah, because I, I would need to kill these guys again. Let's explore the south part of the boil again. And we have another person over there that needs to die. Or that will die eventually, I think. He seemed a little bit upset with the, with the wall. Sure. Notion of I'll do it right away. Sure. I'll do it right away. Notion of fighting. 
Yeah, but if I do this, I give up, he says. Yeah, he's not. He doesn't want to fight. It's fine. It's fine. But we have a lot of people that do want to fight, especially these guys over here. Whew. Four of them. Okay. The idea was for me not to be over encumbered. Okay. Well, that's bad. I think my friends are gonna finish the job. Friend, I'm not. I've oh, been Magnus. wounded terribly. Oh, Magnus! Quickly, I need healing. You do need healing, man. You do need healing. I'm gonna heal you, man. I'm gonna. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Just let the game load. Despite all the stuff around here, it's still faster than uh, than it used to be. The loading times <laughs> when I first played this game. Okay, so let's go with that. And let's hope that. He oh, they're coming. Do we have line of sight? We don't have line of sight. We do now. Okay, not on that guy. Let's go with you. Okay, not too shabby. They seem to be stuck or something? Well, they don't they're not stuck anymore. Ooh. Dog is taking quite a lot of damage right there from that guy. Okay, that's good. Dog is going for it. Oh, and he's not under attack anymore. And that guy, he's gonna die. I'm gonna kill him. And that halfling just took a bunch of damage. Yeah, we got this. This is the way of a gunslinger. Oh my god, Virgil, you are an idiot. Sending my friends up, and I'm... Oof, that was a head off. <laughs> that was a decapitation with my pistol. Uh, yeah, this is the way of a gunslinger. Sending my friends up ahead. Ooh, small leather armor. Yes, finally. Finally, I want that. Yeah. Okay. We're now prepared to take a few hits at least. Um, but um, that axe looks better than normal. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the way of, of a true gunslinger. Send your friends up ahead first. Sure. And then I'll do it right away. Shooting them from behind. Of course, you, we did get attacked, but it's fine. Virgil is healing himself. And uh, we got some other stuff over here. Yeah, I imagine this is just crappy stuff that probably doesn't even sell in normal shops. Okay. So, what am I... Oh, I need to kill the guy. That's right. What am I doing here, I ask? I need to kill that guy that, that apparently is going to have... Uh, or is just going to... I don't know. I don't know if he's going to have his girl or if he's just actually in a relationship with his girl. Uh, I don't... I mean, he was very... Vague about the accusations. How is that an half work thief? This is not an half work thief. What is going on with the world? I'm out. I'm severely encumbered as well, which doesn't help. Oh, come on. I was hoping that it would lock me, uh, knock me out, but that didn't happen. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so let's continue and let's see about that half-orc thief uh, over there. That might be the half-orc thief that, uh, that, uh, oh, I have to do this again. Ah, well, I'll do this again. Uh, but yeah, that might be the half-orc thief that we're looking for. We'll see about that. For right now, though, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Arcanum. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.